car. <laughs> Can you tell? So I've got a couple things that I'm accomplishing right now. First, I'm headed to the pet store to get some pet food. And then I've got to go do an Amazon return at Whole Foods. And then I'm going to go to another grocery store. I have not decided yet if it's going to be Sprouts or Berkeley Bowl. But we'll see. I think my GPS had me come to the back side. I gotta go around the front. Wow, there's a Trader Joe's right here? <laughs> I did not know that. Oh, no. Aha! I was like, I have to go to Sprouts because I'm filling up my water. But actually, Berkeley Bowl has a water fill as well. And I'm really excited to do what I'm gonna do with my filled up water. We're here. Okay, so now I'm headed to Whole Foods to do my return, but I actually bought this little thing to hold my phone up when I'm driving because I've never had one. <laughs> and I think it would be really nice because it's like always flopping around and flying around. I'm like, oh, there's my phone. Um, but I don't know if it's gonna work in my car because of the design and the way that my Beetle is. It's different than a lot of cars. So I figure I should try and see before I do my return because then I can return this as well if it doesn't work out. It seemed like a good one and it was pretty cheap so it had good reviews because I read reviews. Okay. <laughs> Put this little doodad in there tighten it and then it's supposed to go in my like air vent I don't know if it's gonna work let's see all right I'm feeling happy I think it worked it feels pretty secure and then I just click this button back there <laughs> oh my goodness Wow, this is a game changer for me, guys. This is amazing. I can't believe I've waited this long. I can just like, and then my maps. Oh my goodness. Um. Just 
putting away all my groceries that I got. Got some really good stuff. But this is what I'm really excited about. My nuts. <laughs> my nuts. And I got water. We're going to activate my nuts. Let's go see if the cats are ready to come in from the catio outside. Because they can't go outside anymore because of the coyote, um, we like to let them outside almost daily. They love going out here and just having some time in the catio outside. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, Chino. Come on. Come on. Don't even think about it. Chino. Good boy. Good boy. And then I like to give them a little snack when they come in all good like that. Good job, guys. Good job. I basically just give them little crunchies of their food. Good job, little munchkin. Yes, you guys are so good. And then now I'm gonna make a like overnight chia pudding using, oh my goodness, raw goat milk kefir. Yes! Um, I was gonna do the full batch and make like four portions, but... Should I? Or should I just do two and then do two another time? which is where most of them go regularly. But then I have a small litter that I keep in my bathroom upstairs in my room. Um, <laughs> Callie. It's, uh, I keep it in my shower because I can't use my shower right now. We're trying to figure out where there's certain leaks coming from. And one of the culprits is my shower. So I use a different bathroom than the bathroom that's in my room to shower. Um, but I finally like 
hose this down and stuff. So now I'm just filling it back up with litter and I'm gonna bring it back up to my room. They're like, is it food? What's happening? Oh man, I just vacuumed. It's okay. I'll vacuum again. Hey, no, no, don't, don't go right here. <laughs> See, this is my shower turned into a litter box.